Hello and welcome guys, my name is Mello and welcome to another episode of Mello Speaks. Today's episode is going to be about violence in video games. Now I'm not here to tell you the answers, I'm not here to give you the solution to dealing with this problem, if it even is a problem, and in my eyes it really isn't. Um, but to some, it is. What I'm here to do is just to share my opinion on this, and um, that's really about it. So without further ado, I guess I shall do just that. My belief is that violence in video games should not be completely and utterly abolished as some believe it should be. A lot of the PC people out there protest video games that include violence because they don't understand it. Um, they see that their children are playing you know, a game of Halo and um, they go shooting other players and they look at it from a moral standpoint and not from a means of entertainment. They look at it as, you know, my 12-year-old son is playing a rated M, you know, mature adult game, for one. Let me just get that out of the way, which they shouldn't really be doing in the first place. And they are going around and shooting other people who play this game, and the game is rewarding them and giving them treats for doing so. Now, other than the fact that year 12, 13, 14, 15, even 16 year old boys or girls shouldn't be doing this in the first place because there isn't a Zerb rating on this title that says that this is a game based on violence and conflict that should only be you know, viewed and played by those of an adult age and will not be negatively influenced by its content. Um, I do have to say that even if minors play this game with the right supervision by their parents, they will not be influenced by this, the things that they do and say on screen. And I think that it's important that if you're going to let your children play, maybe you shouldn't completely not really restrict them and say that you can't play things that are you know, M-rated. Because there, another thing that you have to understand is video games will only be negatively influential if you don't ever cheat, uh, teach. <laughs> cheat. Hey, man. Yeah, not Cheech and Chong. Um, if you don't teach your children and you'll sit down and t uh, have a nice long discussion with them and, and say that, listen, you know, the things that happen in this video game are of satire, uh, most of the time of you know, fiction. And you shouldn't go out in the real world and do these things because these things that you see and have the ability to do are highly dramatized and fictionalized and that these things have very adverse effects on you in the real world. And you just, I just recommend that you shouldn't do these things. If you just you know, have a five-minute conversation with your 10-year-old that can by now comprehend the way the world works, at least to a certain degree, then you know, these things won't happen in the, the way they do. You won't have people, you know, like, actually, it's a story from my state, you know, where I guess I was like a 12-year-old uh, kid um, that went on a, you know, a little a fun rampage with a minivan and one, you know, questioned by police are just like I did it in Grand Theft Auto <laughs> yeah you know that kid was never really warned like the way you should and honestly if, if parents out there who are protesting violence in video games for the sake of you know the next, the next generation of children and how they believe it's going to corrupt um, the kids of today I believe that the reason you know whatever caused them to say all these different things is all based off of them and they don't want to be blamed for being a bad parent kids will be exposed to harsh things daily if you are a parent watching this video and you believe that violence should be abolished from video games i believe that you need to take a second look at the situation at hand i believe that you need to actually see it from everybody else's point of view you need to not look at it from your perspective you need to not be ignorant and understand that if something negative happened in your child's life because of a video game and strictly because of violence in video games, it is your fault. You did this. You didn't warn your children that the things that happen in video games aren't to be taken legitimately serious. It's your fault. It doesn't matter if they went over a friend's house or snuck the game into your home and played it without your permission. You should have been a you know a, a good understanding parent and have warned your children beforehand because you know that it exists you were a children you're 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 a child my bad you were a child once yourself and let me tell you what you were adventurous you wanted to do things that your parents told you you shouldn't do but 
if you had good parents, they would have warned you about these things. They would have said, hey, listen, I know this from experience. I am your elder. I've been there, done that. And this is what's going to happen if you do those things. But since you didn't do that to your kid, since you didn't warn them, maybe they went to school and beat the shit out of somebody else just because they saw it in a video game. Now, whose fucking fault is that? It's not the kid's fault. He's too young to make his own rational decisions based on the world around him. It's your fault. You're the one who brought him up. You're the one who raised him. Basically, everything that that child does is because of you, because of the things that you taught him, because of the things that school taught him. So blame school and blame yourself for not being there for your kid and for letting him play something that's far out of his age range. And if he's special needs and doesn't understand the world around him and then went out and did something in a video game that you know he saw in a video game, then maybe you should reevaluate your parenting strategy. Don't blame the things that he was influenced by. Blame the thing that fucking allowed him to be influenced by that other thing. Blame yourself because you're an idiot. You are a PC idiot. And when I mean PC, I mean politically correct. My bad. I don't want to offend a couple of my friends out there who are big, you know, personal computer players. Um, but there you go. That's all clear up. Um, you are a big politically correct asshole who doesn't understand how the world works. And if, you know, you have kids, you don't understand how the fucking kids work. Um, violence is not there in video games to be prohibited as positive activity and a lot of the times in video games violence is the product of the players um, imagination and wants and choices all violence in video games at least for you know the sake of sandbox games you know for example like Grand Theft Auto it is typically in act of self-defense and or in storytelling and complete fiction these things should not tell you to go out and hurt you know or cause bodily harm to other people but should rather be taken as you know satire it's it's based on fiction you don't you know another thing that I, uh, I think I should bring up here if you don't understand what I'm trying to say you know within the past couple minutes just think about it like this back in like you know the 50s and 60s there was nobody looking at books that were meant for adults that you know young children were reading that you know could read them that involved violence which is basically the same thing keep in mind and been like we should totally outlaw these violent books because they're teaching our kids to go do these horrible things to all these other people and it's it's influ it's influencing the next generation and they're all going to be super violent and horrible and oh my god we should totally make all forms of violent literature illegal or if that did happen it didn't happen to a large extent enough for it to be totally within my my knowledge and without anybody else's knowledge so there you go what i'm saying is people are quick to judge things uh, you know based upon their cover without any sort of rationale or looking into it um, people don't look at it from an intellectual level anymore they look at it you know from their own point of view from what they want to they want to hear from what they want to believe you know it, it's it's sort of a um an insane proposition you know these people are like oh it's certainly not my fault it has to be somebody else's fault they don't sit there and evaluate the reasoning and the, you know the logic behind the situation at hand so in short violence in video games is something that should stay strictly for storytelling purposes it's not here to advocate you know harm you know perpetuate violence as the right way of everything and um, I believe that it should stay